So if you're wondering if you should invest in yield plays or value plays, or if you have no idea what those things mean, then you found the right video. So what we're about to do, cue in that intro, and then let's dive into the topic. Hey, how's it going, friend? Juan Papa here. So on this channel, we like to focus on the three pillars to financial freedom. Personal finance, funding, and real estate investing with the emphasis on multi-units and multifamily investing. Now on this channel, if you're new, please like, share, and subscribe, but that way the algorithm can do its thing and provide you with additional videos to help you along your journey towards becoming financially free. So without further ado, let's dive into this topic. So what is a uh, yield play? So a yield play is a property that's already yielding cash flow, meaning as soon as you close, you're cash flowing day one of closing, meaning you're closing on a property, is fully occupied, tenants are paying rent, you receive rent prorations on the HUD on the settlement statement. So it's a yield play, it's yielding cash flow. Now a value play on the other hand is where when you close, you might have to add value to the property, do some renovations, uh, be able to lease up the vacant units. So that way you can increase the value of the property. So that way it, it does cash flow. So a yield play doesn't cash flow immediately at the close. Well, I can, don't get me wrong, but typically you receive the, the best value after you do the renovations, after you increase the occupancy and so forth. So those are the two differences here yield plays and value plays. So the reason why I bring that up is because we had a, a student and he asked a question about what should he pursue? More yield plays or value plays? And ultimately he wanted to become financially free, okay? So he wanted passive income. But he was curious to know which strategy he should implement. And I wanna share this with you as well. Yield plays are great if you're investing out of state. Let's say you live in California, LA, San Diego, um, and let's say the price point of real estate is, is through the roof, you know, you're in San Francisco or something along those lines. And sure, you can buy your, a, a property, or owner occupant property, but to continuously buy investment properties, it may be a stretch for you, right? Because you realize the price point of real estate in that market is too expensive. So you might be interested in investing out of state in properties in, in markets, as to say, that have properties that are, are more affordable, that produce decent returns, and also, of course, in safe areas. And let's say you found a good market. So if you found a good market and a, a good deal in a good market that's safe and affordable, that produce decent returns, then a yield play would be the best fit, simply because you're buying it, there's tenants already in there, it's a safer investment. So you don't have to worry about managing the rehab, you don't have to worry about leasing a ton of vacant units, it's an easier play for you, as long as it produces a decent return. So a decent return, in our opinion, is 8% or higher, cash on cash return. So if you're able to find an investment property in a more profitable market, in a more affordable market with decent returns in safe areas, then yield plays all day. However, if you're looking to maximize your return, and let's say you have some great management skills, or you're willing to take a look at the property and visit that market on a continual basis because you wanna make sure if you have to add value to it, such as doing repairs, that you do have eyes on site on, on the property, especially if you're new to this, especially if you're new to a, a particular market. Then I would definitely encourage you to go the value play route because with the value play, it allows you to be able to increase the performance of an asset and then you will capitalize greatly on your return as a result of doing some renovations, um, increasing the rents, decreasing expenses, increasing the occupancy, so that way you win big at the end. So what I recommended him to do was the following. Do a hybrid, baby. <laughs> Meaning, let's say you buy a, a, a 10 unit, right? And let's say this 10 unit was out of state and it met the criteria, it was in a safe area, it was affordable and it, it yielded decent returns. So it's a 10 unit, and but only eight units are occupied. So being as 80% occupancy is still cash flowing. You're still getting a decent return. Let's say the return was 12%, which is higher than what we typically recommend, which was higher than what we typically recommend. So being that it was higher, that's, that's great. But let's say um, 
after you do the yield play, you close, then you can switch gears and do the value play, meaning, okay, with these two units, I see why they uh, weren't occupied because they need some repairs. And let's say I was able to convert this two unit, let's say they were both two beds, one bath. So maybe I was able to convert that from a two bed to a three bed because the two bedroom square footage is extremely large. Let's say it was 600 square feet per room, just making something up. It's so a 1200 square feet just for the two bedrooms combined. And let's say you were able to break that down to three bedrooms with 400 square foot a piece. So then with the three bedrooms, you're able to demand high rent because let's say you go for with a, a tenant on public assistance, section eight, and they pay more for a three bedroom than a two bedroom. And let's say you were able to do some other repairs to the, to the property to renovate and so forth. And let's say you were able to do more value add opportunities such as add coin laundry or vending machines and just many other things to the point that you increase the value of that property and it's worth a ton more. So that's what I recommend if you're in that space. Do them both. <laughs> do a yield play and a value play. And, and by the way, guys, so if you're interested in learning more, if you're interested in learning more about how to invest, especially out of state and more profitable markets, then we, what we have for you is the video in the description. So just check the link below in the description to learn more. As always, guys, this is to your success. Continue to earn passively, live passionately. Peace.